today we're going to have a look at this. Son, a wall pack with a photo, so as you can see, just there. I'm going to have a look if you prefer warm, um, like the orangey son slash shocks colour, which is more of a warm white compared to the LED cool light. I'm going to see the differences. So I'm going to turn it on now. I'm going to have a look at this. So we can see it starts off pinkish, or a bit more whitish, I should say, with a touch of pink at the start. Warms up a bit like a socks bulb, and eventually it'll get to a pink orangey red. So you can see there it's getting a bit more orange compared to the start. And the room is lighting up nice and brightly. See that bit there. I'm going to try and keep the light off so um photo something. So in this light, everything is orange. Even the emergency light, which should be more of a greenish colour like that, if I turn it on, is producing a more black and white picture. In fact, really everything in this room has gone black and white. And you can have the pipe there. The reason it sounds loud vibrating is because um the cover's not screwed on. So this is now at full brightness and it's now producing a more warm, a more warm white colour, although it does look like green at the, at the sign is a bit more green compared to before. And I'm going to shine my torch light on now. Just to show you that the photo cell works and how a photo cell works. So, like a street light when it gets bright, and the photo cell realizes that the light will go off. As we can see here, the light goes off, and we can see it kind of there. You can see the light. So it does actually look really nice though. And uh, let's see what the time delay is. So let's hear a click then. Anyway, we don't want it back on for now because we need to change the bulb. So I'm going to turn off the power, which I've currently got it wired to a plug here. Standard UK plug. So I'll just show you again. That's the photo cell there. I got this for, I think it was like 30, 40 pounds or 20 pounds, I can't remember. It's for 20 to 40 pounds on eBay. I got it a few years ago, probably 2020. I'm trying to save it. Now, do you think I should put this outside when we get our kitchen done up? And how much roughly would it cost to run per year, do you think? If it was like on for, let's say, eight hours. Uh, yeah, so, let's have a look inside there. So I'm sure you've all seen these wall pack fittings. Venture, 70 watt bulb, reflector. So size comparison, that's the Sony bulb, that's a standard house bulb. You can see that that is quite big compared to them. This is a smart LED bulb. Off Amazon again. It comes um, with a photo cell inside it. Although this photo cell will be the main control. And then this could choose if it's dark enough after that's turned the power supply onto it. 
uh, I'm just using this for an example. Obviously, I wouldn't have a bowl with the photo included. This is nine watt, including the uh, um, the uh, wattage that goes to the photo cell. And this is just a standard Tesco warm white bulb. Just waiting for it to cool down, and then we're going to take it out and have a look. So here we've got the standard LED bulb in, and we've taken out the sun. Now, do you think this would do any damage to the fitting with an LED bulb in that's meant to run a sun bulb? I don't think it would, but please tell me if you think differently. Right. Lights. So, I think she's roughly around the same amount of light, and it's come down immediately. If I turn the light on, so you can see that the photo cell overriding the bulb comes on, and if we turn it off, <laughs> the main control here. You It should go on. Not going off for some reason. Oh, there we go. Let's see how long it takes on the top. So it's come back on, <clears throat> which is good. So if it would do any damage to the fitting, or if it's a risk having the LED bulb in, which I don't think it is, please do tell me. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I prefer the socks and some bulbs. Thanks everyone.